This is just a quick video to um, go back over the first part of class today, um, yesterday, doesn't matter when, the first part of class about writing a function for scraping text. Now we had already seen this as kind of a piecemeal operation where we would go through one piece at a time um, in order to get a frequency distribution of a text that we pulled from Project Gutenberg. Now what I want to do is kind of modularize that, but to begin, we're going to remind ourselves about how, um, how we did that, uh, how we wrote that function and what these different pieces of the uh, function do. So I'm going to restart my notebook here. Um, and just as usual, we're going to import the libraries. These are the libraries that we will need today, mainly uh, requests, NLTK, Beautiful Soup and uh, RE, the regular expressions library. Um, and this is a revised version of the function that we developed in class today. I remember ours was uh, pulling just letters. So to fix that, um, I just added one little line here where I created this list of words using a regular expression. But to begin, we started with a URL to a book. We fed that URL to requests to get a response object. We turn that response object into a beautiful soup object. We get the text from the soup. We go through that and find all the words. And it, if you remember, this is going to, in effect, um, get all the punctuation out of there because this regular expression is saying, just give me words. Then we go through and we take our list of words and we lowercase them by creating an empty list, looping through this list of words and lowercasing every one. So in, this is the lowercase word from this list that we are appending to this list called lowered. Um, and then, uh, oh, I'm just noticing something here. Then we create a text object in using the natural language toolkit because what we want to do is use the natural language toolkit frequency distribution to draw a plot of the function. So again, a quick review, we take a URL, get it as a response, feed it into request to get a response object, turn that into a beautiful soup object, make that into text, go through and pull the in to create a list of words, lowercase those words, turn it into NLTK text object and uh, create a frequency distribution and view it. So um, remember to run your first cell where you import the libraries. And then here we go. I have a frequency distribution of this first text. Now what I want to do is I want to reuse this over and over for different, um, for different texts. So we're going to write a function to do that, name Gutenberg plot. And remember, what a function is, is just a little, a little thing, just like it was in math class, that takes some input and spits back an output. So for example, this little function, high person, will print uh, whatever name I put into it. So for example, if I put Stever into it, it prints hello Stever. I could have a numerical one where I take two numbers and add them, uh, defined as add numbers, and so if I input 5 and 8, it will add 5 and 8 and get 13. So our function is going to take as, I'm, I changed a couple of things here. Uh, first, it's going to take as an input the URL. And I also added an N for the number of, um, of words to display. Because we're going to create this, at the end of it, we, we generate a frequency distribution. And I'm, I'm entered instead of the number... Like here, we plotted the first 30, the top 30 words. Um, I'm going to let the user input that number. But we take and we have an input of a URL. We take that. We get our response from it. We turn it into the soup and so on. This is just all of this code copy and paste it. And I added some comments so that if somebody wanted to use this file, they see what the pieces of it are doing. Now, after defining that function, I can use it. And so I, can, I should be able to input a URL and 
uh, a number and get back a frequency plot. And sure enough, it seems to have worked. So now we have the function in a Jupyter Notebook. Maybe what we want to do is actually reuse this across Jupyter Notebooks. Um, and what we can, in order to do that, we'll save it as a Python file. Now, uh, we're not getting deep into writing programs here, but this is just kind of a quick, uh, quick and dirty example. So to save this and reuse it, I'm going to take the text of this uh, function and put it in um, a text file in Sublime Text. And I'm also going to add the libraries that I need within, because I'm using requests, uh, beautiful soup, the regular expression library, and NLTK in this function. So I'm going to put those imports in the top of this function. Um, and just save this file and save this file in the same directory as my notebook. So in this same in this same notebook, I have um, I have this file now called gutenbergplot.py. To reuse it, I just import Gutenberg plot, and this the Jupyter notebook knows that this is going to be a Python file, and I'm going to rename it uh, gplot. And once I do that, I have access to the methods within it. So there is this function, Gutenberg plot, in that file that I can enter a URL and an N into, and it should spit me back a plot. Now, this is a, a French text from Marquis de Sade. And OK, so we get a bunch of French words in case you wanted to start reading uh, de Sade in French. Maybe you should understand what these words mean. Dons can mean in. So that's a, that's a writing a function and reusing it. Um, you could change the contents of this function to do a whole bunch of different things. And maybe you wanted to do that. Maybe instead of uh, returning a frequency distribution like this, you want it to return the bar plot that you made in our last project. Um, or something else. Maybe you want to print some statements about the text. Maybe you wanted it to output a word cloud and a uh, frequency distribution. Um, these are all different options that could be carried out and repeated for any text. 